Hi everyone, welcome to My Green Closet. So I have tested five different t-shirts from five popular conscious brands. And this is a very in-depth and thorough test. We're gonna be looking at the quality of the fabrics, the sewing, how they fit, the comfort, and also comparing the sustainability and ethics of each brand. As you can see, this is a long video. I go into a lot of the different details and aspects of these brands. So if you're only interested in certain parts, I will include time codes down below so you can skip around to the parts you're interested in. Or if you wanna just jump to my final thoughts, you can do that as well. So let's get right into it. First, at the lowest price point, we have this t-shirt from Everlane. And be sure to stick around till later to hear my thoughts on Everlane's ethics. Then there is this t-shirt from Pact, and they actually don't carry this exact style anymore, but they have a lot of different basics. I have this t-shirt from Cotton, and I hope it doesn't get too confusing with a brand named Cotton, because we're also gonna talk about Cotton the material a bit. Then there's this tee from Armed Angels, because I wanted to have some Europe-based brands as well. And finally, our highest priced t-shirt is this one from Organic Basics. I tried to get the most basic style of t-shirt each brand had, and ordered them all in a size medium. The first thing I did when they arrived is measure each one to see how they compare to each other and also how they compare to the brand's size guide. This chart shows the measurements of each one and the largest and smallest T in each area. I also should note that Pack shrunk the most after washing, quite a lot in length, and Everlane and Organic Basics didn't really shrink at all. Okay, so I have the t-shirts here and they have all been washed once with cold water and air dry, but I wanted to wait to do first impressions until after they were washed because quite often things can shrink or shift. I have definitely had that experience where a fabric feels super soft in the store and then when you take it home and wash it, it feels completely different. So the first really obvious difference is the thickness and weight of the fabric. The Everlane t-shirt, which is also the cheapest one, is definitely the thinnest fabric. It's extremely lightweight, very kind of, gauzy. The Armed Angels one is also very lightweight, but the knit is a little denser. Then we have the pack t-shirt in the middle, and then the Organic Basics and the cotton t-shirt are quite a bit denser. While they are about the same thickness, the Organic Basics one is softer, while the cotton one is a stiffer knit. The Everlane Pact and Organic Basics are softer than the Armed Angels and the cotton, but they might soften up over time. They only have been washed once. And it's not like an uncomfortable stiffness, just when you compare them. So I've just laid them out from cheapest to most expensive because it is important to keep price in mind because this one is half of the cost of this one. So, you know, there are gonna be quality differences just based on that. But the next thing I wanna compare is construction. And what I have noticed is they all have this piece of fabric along the back of the neck, which is really good. But then if we go into the t-shirts and inspect the shoulder seams, the brands have done different things. So the Everlane shirt is just serge. There's nothing else added to the shoulder seam. And that's a common place that tends to stretch out. At least when I was studying clothing construction, we were told to always do something to kind of reinforce the shoulder seam. The pack shirt has a piece of elastic sewn in. This type of elastic is used a lot in clothing construction and it's added as they're surging the seam to provide some extra support and help with retention. The cotton shirt also doesn't have anything added, but because this is a much more dense knit, I'm not actually sure that this necessarily needs some extra support. The lighter and looser it is, I would say the more likely it is to actually need some support. So the Everlane shirt, I would be much more concerned about it stretching out versus this one. Now what Armed Angels has done is a clever finishing trick where they've actually put a strip of the same fabric and this is great because you're not using extra plastic, which this kind of elastic is, so this is still totally cotton, but it is a slightly higher cost way of finishing it because you do have to cut that strip and line it all up versus just using the elastic. And then the Organic Basics tee also doesn't have anything in that seam. But again, I'm not necessarily sure that this one needs it because it is a denser knit. And because this one actually has spandex in it, it probably is a lot better at retaining that seam. So even though at the higher price point, I do think it would be good to maybe see a bit of extra reinforcement. I'm not sure if it's actually necessary. Other than that, all these t-shirts are basically sewn and finished the same way. Something to point out on this pack shirt is the hem is sort of twisting. Basically it wasn't a even fold. It was somehow offset slightly when they sewed it. When we compare the stitching, the Armed Angels shirt and the Organic Basics shirt definitely have a much tighter stitch, which is generally a sign of higher quality, just because the looser the stitch is, the faster you can sew something, and it's a lot 
um, less thread, less cost, that kind of thing. So especially with fast fashion, you'll see really wide stitches often just because it makes it cheaper and faster to sew. None of these stitching I would say is bad or too loose, but you definitely do notice that the packed and the cotton shirt in particular have wider stitching than the Armed Angels and the Organic Basics. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay each one out flat to just look at how it's cut, how it sits. And what we wanna see is a good shape. We want it to look pretty even. We don't want anything looking off or crooked. Okay, so the first thing I noticed after lying the Everlane shirt out flat, kind of blocking it out, is that we are seeing a little bit of twisting in the side seam. So the seams should run perfectly straight. This seam in particular starts off at the side and then as we get to the bottom, it's sort of curving in a little bit. So when you look at a knit fabric, there are tiny, tiny little lines called whales that run up and down the shirt and that needs to be cut straight or you get this kind of twisting. And what also has resulted from that is that one of the shoulders is more forward and one of the shoulder seams is more back. So basically we end up with a bit of a battle where if I try to get the shoulders perfectly straight and flat, then my side seams are off. And if I line my side seams up nice and flat, then the shoulders are off. So there's definitely something that's cut a little bit crooked with the pattern. But what I wanna point out though, is that that is not really uncommon with knits, especially something like a t-shirt. And because this is the lowest price point shirt, I mean, I'm not that surprised. I wouldn't say this is something that you would return it. Honestly, most people probably wouldn't even notice unless you really kind of laid it out and blocked it out. This isn't something that you would notice when it was on. The hem looks pretty good. It's about an inch shorter in the front than the back, which is fairly common. Some brands do that with their t-shirts and yeah, it's a pretty typical straight t-shirt construction. Okay, so then we're gonna move on to the pack t-shirt. This one is a v-neck unlike the others. So it is gonna be slightly different in terms of its construction. Okay, now right away, I'm noticing quite a bit of that twisting that I was talking about with the Everlane. This one actually has it even more. It's actually twisting about an inch on each side, which depending on the brand, that could be within quality control tolerance. And that would of course explain when I mentioned that it looked like the hem was slightly twisted. I think it's just because the whole piece has been cut slightly off. And this shirt, I believe, we'll try to straighten out the side seams, is cut with a bit of a curve to it, so it's a more fitted cut. I find the armhole interesting on this packed shirt. It comes in at kind of a, I think sort of a unique curve for an armhole. So you end up with some extra fabric under the arm here, which might be good for certain fit elements. And again, we'll have to try it on and see how it fits, if there is some extra bulkiness under the arm, but it's just something I definitely notice. This one is hemmed slightly shorter than I believe all these other ones. Usually higher quality stuff will have a bit larger seam allowances. Yeah, I'm just curious to see what this one's gonna look like on to see if we're gonna notice any of those things or not. But then we have the cotton shirt. And like I said earlier, this is a stiffer, a bit more dense shirt. So we should be seeing a pretty clean even because this kind of fabric is gonna be easier to cut. It's gonna be less likely to twist and stretch out. If you want a really light, drapey, loose knit, it does come with maybe some more quality issues, maybe some more pattern issues. Where something that is pretty dense and structured will often give you a better shape and it usually is more durable. However, you don't get that really soft, loose, drapey look. Okay, so with this shirt, we're getting really nice, flat, even side seams, which is good to see. This pattern has been cut straight. The neckline also looks pretty good. It's lying nice and flat. There is a tiny bit of puckering or bunching along the back here, especially where the tag is. I'm probably being too nitpicky because this is a casual piece. It's not supposed to look pristine and perfect. You know, it's not like we're comparing something that is very tailored or very structured, like a button up shirt. And let me know if you would like to see a video like this about a different piece. So these kinds of things, like having a little bit of bunching along the back, doesn't really make a difference, you're not gonna notice it. So this one also does have a slightly curved side seam and this one is cut 
perfectly straight along the bottom. There's nothing else really of note for this shirt, so we're gonna move on to the Armed Angels one. This one, like the packed one, also has that same higher cut armhole with a bit of extra fabric. This is the only one that isn't top stitched along the neckline. And so what's happening is the surging at the front here is flipping up a bit. We're gonna have to try it on to see how that exactly sits. We've got that extra fabric in the shoulder, which I really like. Okay, so let's move on to our final one. So this is the Organic Basics tee. So this one and the Everlane one are both cut straight. So this is interesting. So this one is actually cut with slightly more fabric in the front than the back. So when you lay out the side seams, the front rolls over ever so slightly because there's a bit more fabric. And that is good design because with women's bodies, you have more body in the front than you do in the back. So the neckline in this one is slightly lower than the other crew necks, but it is lying beautifully flat. And something that's interesting with this one in particular is the shoulder seam is actually set back slightly. And that is a good thing because Again, when we're talking about, you know, how the body is distributed, you have more up front than you do in the back. So if you set the seam actually slightly back, it tends to sit right at the top of the shoulder versus it being slightly more forward. With clothing, you don't wanna actually see the shoulder seam on the front of the shoulder. So it's better to set it back slightly and then it's sitting at the top or slightly hidden over the back of the shoulder. It's not something that you would typically do with a t-shirt, it's more for tailored garments, but I like the fact that they have set back the seam slightly. Overall fabric and construction, my first impression is that the Organic Basics tee is better quality, but it also is the higher price point one, so I would expect and hope that it is better quality. So for the fabric and construction quality, here is how I would rank them. I think Pact and Everlane are both tied for the bottom place because while Everlane had better construction, Pact had better quality fabric. I do want to note though that Pact seems to be kind of hit or miss with their sewing because when I ordered this t-shirt, I also ordered a couple other pieces. Just to show you, here's the sewing on one of my Pact tank tops and there is a noticeable difference. And I've heard this from others as well, where some of their pack pieces are great while others have issues. So I don't know if it's just the factory where this t-shirt's sewn and maybe their other pieces are sewn somewhere else or what's going on. But if you are interested in packed, I would encourage you to read reviews because some of their pieces are definitely sewn better than others. Okay, so now I'm gonna compare the fit of them on. First up is the Everlane tee. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can definitely see where my pants are just color wise. So that is indicative of the fabric not being very thick. I do have a nude bra on. I probably should have worn like a black bra, but based on the fact that you can see my pants through it, I would definitely say that you could probably see a bra through it. So the fabric is not very thick. It is really nice and soft though. Now I do have pretty broad shoulders. So with all of these, they're probably gonna sit a little bit high, but it doesn't feel tight across here, which is the biggest thing that I would look for. These are all a size medium, and with most brands, I am between a size small and medium, depending on the waist and the bust. So these are a slightly looser fit, I would say, typically, than if I went with a small, but that's what I like with t-shirts. Another thing that we're gonna try to look for is that the arm sits nice, so it should sit nice and straight, not really wing out at all. We also wanna check that the neckline looks pretty good and straight, which it does, and also that the hips aren't too tight. And I think that that is pretty comfortable. So yeah, I don't have any fit complaints with this. I think it fits pretty well. My biggest issue with it is just the sheerness and the thinness of the fabric. Okay, so now I have the pack t-shirt on. So this is the one where the fabric was twisting the most. If you look at the side seam, it looks pretty straight you wouldn't notice it. What you do notice on this shirt though is that the hem is slightly twisted. You can just see that it's sort of lumpy and twisted. Now one thing that I wanted to look at is what was happening under the arm. And I definitely do feel like there is some extra fabric here, almost it's like draping down right here. Now Pact in particular does fit larger than the other brands, so it is a bit looser and that could also be why we're getting a bit of extra fabric under the armpit here. The shoulders on this one actually are sitting on my shoulder point, which is pretty uncommon for me. So if you do have broader shoulders, this could be a good brand for you, but if you have narrow shoulders, they might be too wide. Now twice so far, I have had to flip 
down the seam on the sleeve and that has to do with the fact that it is such a narrow fold. Okay, so then we have the cotton one and there is a noticeable fit difference between this one and the one before. This one is definitely a lot more fitted. I feel it pretty snugly across my body. And because this is a much thicker and more dense knit, it doesn't have that same looseness and stretch as those lighter knits do. So to me, this is a very different t-shirt. This is a much more structured, almost more like formal t-shirt, if that makes any sense. The shoulders are a little narrow for me. I would not want to size down in this one. And actually, if I wanted a looser t-shirt, I might even size up. The shaping on the side seam is really nice. It is fairly snug in the hips, but because it's a denser fabric, I mean, it's more snug all over. So this is definitely if you wanted a more structured and fitted shirt. So now we have the Armed Angels tee and we're back to a lighter knit, but this is a more fitted t-shirt than the first two that we tried on. Something very interesting to note is that when I felt these different t-shirts with my hand, this one felt a bit stiffer, but on, it actually feels really soft. So the other ones I think are spun with a bit fluffier yarn. So at first hand, it does feel like fluffier and softer. Whereas this one seems to have a tighter spun of fiber. So even though it initially feels a bit stiffer, it actually is quite like silky feeling almost on. So I quite like the feeling of this and I'm pleasantly surprised by how soft it feels. And that just goes to show that you can't necessarily judge things just by touching them with your hands. You do have to try it on. Unlike some of the other ones where the shoulders were quite a ways in, this to me is at a good point. And when I was working as a fit model, because my shoulders were a bit more broad, this is where they would fit the shoulder points to. So this is where the shoulders sit from most narrow to widest. And so this one also looked like it had a bit of extra fabric under the arm, but the packed one was larger. So I think that's why we got that kind of draping and pulling. This one actually fits really nicely, I think, along the armpits under the arm. I don't at all feel like there's too much fabric there and the sleeves feel really comfortable. The thing that I wanted to check is whether this was uncomfortable at all or looking weird or anything because it wasn't top stitched down. That's something that I'm gonna make note of as I wear it a few times and as I wear it longer. But right now, I don't think it's a problem at all. So I really like this one as a t-shirt. I think it feels really nice, it fits well. I don't really have any complaints about it. Okay, so now we have the Organic Basics shirt and this one is unfortunately harder to see because it is black, so you can't see the details as well. This one is the longest one. It hits me right here. I'm petite, I'm only 5'3", so for me, that's a little bit longer than I would want my t-shirt, but it's also pretty easy to hem. This is the only one that has spandex in it, so that is gonna affect the fit and comfort, and I definitely notice, just in terms of being able to move around, like there is absolutely nothing restricting my movement in any way. I know people have different preferences for straight or fitted t-shirts. I think the fitted shirts look a bit nicer if you're tucking them in really tight tight, but I also run into the issue, which we'll see if that happens as we're wearing it, that the fitted shirts tend to kind of like bunch up around the waist, um, whereas straight shirts don't have that issue. And I also prefer the way they look if you tuck them in loosely. So yeah, just a personal preference, but I do tend to like a straighter cut shirt. Again, I don't really have any fit issues or complaints. The fabric is really nice and soft, and I think everything looks really good. Here are the shirts side by side to see the fit differences. So then I wore and washed each t-shirt at least three times. The cotton and packed shirts I enjoyed wearing the least. The packed shirt because the hems really bothered me and just don't look very good. And the cotton shirt because I prefer looser and drapier shirts, so this kind of style just felt a bit heavy and restrictive. And they do actually have lighter shirts, which I probably should have gotten. But at the time I ordered these, it was going into winter, so I think they were featuring their heavier shirts. So I am interested to try some of their other shirts. But if you are a person who likes thicker, denser, and more fitted t then I do think this is a great t-shirt. It's just not the style that I usually like. While the Everlane shirt was soft and comfortable to wear, I didn't like the fabric and that it was so thin and sheer and I had to be careful of what color undergarments I had underneath. 
The armed angel shirt was also really comfortable to wear, but the little bit of neckline surging did flip up, which I was worried about and it bothered me a bit. I don't know why that isn't just stitched down. It's just a small thing, but compared to the other ones, it was noticeable. And finally, the organic basics tee I liked the best. There was really nothing to complain about. It was soft and comfortable and really stretchy and easy to move in. So now let's compare their environmental and ethical practices. And this is all based on what they say publicly. So things that we as customers could easily find on their websites. For the material, Pact, Organic Basics, and Armed Angels all use GOT certified organic cotton, which is a great certification. Cotton and Everlane do not use organic cotton. However, cotton has direct trade practices and they work with cotton farmers in Egypt. So they have a lot of traceability and transparency around their cotton. And they also say that they are working directly with the farmers to improve their systems and get organic certification. Everlane says that they are moving to organic cotton by 2023, so still a few years from now. However, I have noticed that they are incorporating some organic cotton into their collection. They didn't have it when I ordered this t-shirt, but it looks like they do have an organic cotton t-shirt now. It's also important to note that the Organic Basics tee has some spandex in it, which is a negative for sustainability in that it's synthetic. However, spandex also greatly improves the retention, so it won't stretch out and lose its shape as fast, which is a positive for longevity and sustainability. And I have a video that goes way more into spandex and sustainable fashion and why it's often a necessary evil, so I will link that if you haven't watched it yet. It digs all into that. <laughs> in terms of other areas of sustainability, Organic Basics and Armed Angels in particular have lots of great information about different things they're doing to reduce their impact, like addressing water and chemical use and lowering waste and energy. Cotton has some good info about what they're doing with water and dyeing, and Organic Basics and Pact both carbon offset their shipping. Pact and Everlane really don't have much information about other sustainability initiatives, and the ones that Everlane does share all have to do with their office or their stores and not really the manufacturing of the garments. So overall for sustainability, Organic Basics and Armed Angels definitely seem to be doing the most. Now let's look at the brand's ethics. So the GOT certification, which I already mentioned, does include some social aspects. Armed Angels has fair trade certification and Pact has fair trade certification for some, but not all their products. And they say this is because the products which aren't certified are manufactured in countries where there already is strict wage and labor laws. While the fair trade certification is great, I do wish that Pact provided a bit more specific information about their factories. Organic Basics manufactures in Europe and they are really transparent about their factories. They even have information like how many hours a week the employees work and how many vacation days they get. And the factories have a variety of sustainability and ethical certifications. Cotton also has really good transparency around their factories and supply chain, but not many certifications. Everlane also has good transparency about their factories, but no certifications that I could find. And they also don't seem to really include information about wages or social programs. Both Organic Basics and Cotton are certified B Corps. And if you wanna learn more about what that means, I have a video about that. And Organic Basics and Armed Angels also both have PETA vegan approved products. It's also worth noting that Cotton does a lot of work building schools and improving literacy in Egypt in the communities where they farm and manufacture in. So overall for ethics, obviously fair trade certification is great because it's a third party that comes in and audits, but I also think Organic Basics has some really good transparency around their manufacturing. And I think Cotton is doing some really interesting things with their kind of farm to closet approach. It's not a business model that we see a lot. Again, Everlane is on the bottom for me because even though they disclose information about their factories, they really don't say much about the ethical treatment of workers. They say that they aim for a 90 score on their internal audit, but we really have no idea if factories actually get that score or how close to that score they are. And this is probably a good time to chat a bit more about Everlane because it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I've never recommended Everlane. Initially, it was because they weren't really doing anything in terms of sustainability and their radical transparency just was never very transparent. However, over the last few years, they've been doing a lot more with sustainable materials and some people who I really admire and respect in the ethical fashion space seem to love them. So I thought maybe I was being too harsh and that I should give them a shot. And when I decided to make this video, I thought that would be a perfect opportunity. Now, I ordered these t-shirts last year in the fall. It's taken me a long time to get this video out. But when I ordered them, I was approaching Everlane with an open mind. And then shortly after I got the shirt, 
information came out that Everlane had been union busting, which is incredibly unethical. And then later on, more allegations came out about them just having a very toxic and racist work environment. So just when I was trying to give Everlane a shot, it turns out that they're actually not a very ethical company. And in short, I would not recommend Everlane. I don't think they're a good brand. Their radical transparency is ridiculous and just seems like a marketing gimmick. And it's not just their ethics and transparency, their sustainability and quality is also lacking. So now let's get into my final thoughts and if these brands are worth their prices. I think it's pretty obvious that Everlane is at the bottom. While the price point is the most accessible, the quality isn't particularly good, they don't have a lot of information available, and they're just doing some shady stuff. Based on just this t-shirt, I also wouldn't recommend Pact. The construction quality really isn't very good and they don't have a lot of information available, but they do have the GOTS and Fair Trade certifications to back them up. However, like I said, I have had some really good quality Pact stuff. So I guess if you are interested, just know that it might be a bit of a gamble. Try your best to research the quality of the garment and know that you might have to return things. For a lower price point option, I would definitely recommend cotton. This shirt is only $5 more than the Everlane shirt. The sewing and fabric is really nice quality. And even though it's not organic, I do really like what they're doing in terms of being fully involved in their supply chain and manufacturing. If you really care about sustainability, then Organic Basics and Armed Angels are both great organic options. They're soft and comfortable, the fit is good, the quality is good, and both these brands are doing a lot of things to reduce their impact. Armed Angels is very expensive to ship to North America though, so keep that in mind if you are looking at price. However, it's a great option for those of you in Europe. Organic Basics is also based in Europe, however, they do have distributors in the US and Canada, which I can link as well. So I guess now a big question is, is the Organic Basics tea actually worth almost 40 US dollars and almost twice the Everlane tea? Honestly, if you're able to spend that, you will get a really soft, comfortable, good quality t-shirt. It's really wearable and I think it's gonna be a staple in my wardrobe. Plus as a brand, they have a really great mission and practices which I think are worth supporting. One of my only issues with this t-shirt is just the lack of colors because it only comes in white and black. But I also get that not everyone can drop $40 on a t-shirt. And actually in Canadian dollars, I ended up spending $50 on this t-shirt. But after comparing it with the other shirts, I do feel better about the price. However, if it's too much for you, then I think cotton is at a great price point for what you get. And if all these prices are inaccessible for you, then definitely check out my videos on building a sustainable and ethical wardrobe on a budget. I will link those down below because slow fashion is expensive, but there are lots of different ways that you can have a more conscious closet for all different budgets. So after all of this, organic basics, armed angels, and cotton would be my top picks depending on what kind of t-shirt you're looking for. So this was definitely the longest and most work I've ever put into a video. So please, please give this a thumbs up if you like this and found it helpful. Also, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. So would you like to see more of this kind of video with different products and brands? And also what aspects of the review were most helpful for you? And any other feedback you have, like was this too long? I know I personally really like lots of details and information, but maybe it's too much for most people. So let me know. This is my first time making this style of video. So I just really love to hear what you think of it. Thank you for watching and an extra special thank you to those of you supporting me on Patreon. I would not be able to do videos like this without that extra support. It's definitely expensive ordering a bunch of sustainable t-shirts and putting this much work into a video. So I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.